So, you want to learn bookkeeping, by Dave Marshall, http colon slash slash www.dwmbeancounter.com. Accounting equations. Your chef, namely me, is about to divulge a secret recipe. I know you've been waiting to get the Colonel's secret recipe for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sorry to disappoint you, but this recipe is actually a simple equation and lays the foundation on which double-entry bookkeeping is built. This equation is called the accounting equation and is also referred to as the balance sheet equation. The equation may be expressed in three forms, 1. Abbreviated or simple version, property equals property rights. 2. Expanded version, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, capital, 3. Fully expanded version, assets equals liabilities plus beginning owner's equity, capital, plus additional owner investments plus revenues minus expenses minus draws. Double entry bookkeeping system. Do you also recall that term double entry that we mentioned also in an earlier lesson? Double entry is a type of accounting bookkeeping system that requires every transaction to be recorded in at least two places accounts using debits and credits discussed later to represent increases and decreases. Well this equation is what double entry is all about. We make two entries for every business transaction. These entries represent increases or decreases in property assets and or property rights liabilities and owner's equity. In other words the double entry system based on the accounting equation allows us to track 1 what we got and what went property assets the good stuff and 2 from whom and to whom property rights claims to the assets good stuff who has a right or claim to the business's property claims to the property assets arise from two sources creditors of the business liabilities those from whom the business borrows from or buys from on credit are called creditors the creditors have a claim to the property assets of the business until they are paid. These creditor claims are called liabilities. Two common types of creditors are a business's suppliers and bankers. Owners of the business owners equity. Yes the owners also has a claim to the property assets for property assets invested into their business and any increases or decreases resulting from operating the business. Remember we previously discussed owner's equity ma capital and also her four kids revenue, investment, expense, and draws. If you recall, we learned that revenues and additional owner investments increase owner's equity while expenses and draws decrease owner's equity. Another way to think about these increases and decreases to equity is to relate it to your personal financial situation. Your earnings revenue increase your personal wealth equity and your living expenses and draws money you give your wife decrease your personal wealth equity. Sorry gals that I picked on you for my example of draws. Besides monitoring and keeping up with the activity of her four kids, Ma Capital also has the responsibility of summarizing the activity of her four kids revenue, expense, investment, and draws for a period of time monthly or yearly. Think of owner's equity capital as Ma's purse. Ma summarizes all the increases and decreases resulting from revenues, expenses, investments, and draws and puts the balance in her purse capital. This summarizing activity is called closing the books. Closing the books will be discussed more in a later lesson. It should now be apparent that the assets property are subject to two kinds of claims property rights, those arising from the rights claims of creditors liabilities, and those arising from the rights claims of the owner owner's equity. Developing our different versions of the accounting equation and no, you don't need an extensive knowledge of mathematics to understand. Accounting equation. Since 1 property equals assets. And 2 property rights claims to the property equals liabilities plus owner's equity capital. The simple or abbreviated accounting equation property equals property rights expanded or restated now becomes assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity capital. Accounting equation. We're now going to concentrate on the owner's equity capital section of the equation. If you recall, the balance of owner's equity ma capital is affected by her kids' revenue, expense, investment, and draws. Businesses normally operate with the objective of making a profit. Profit is determined by using two of ma capital's kids' revenue and expense and subtracting the expenses from revenue income. Any profits made by a business go to the owner. Therefore, the effects of revenue, income, and expenses are shown under the owner's equity section of the accounting equation. Owner's equity. Summary of the effects of Ma's kids on owner's equity, Ma capital, owner investments, kid investment, increase owner's equity, Ma capital. 
Revenues kid revenue increase owner's equity ma capital. Expenses kid expense decrease owner's equity ma capital. Owner's draws kid draws decrease owner's equity ma capital. Owner's equity. An increase in revenues represents an increase in profit and therefore an increase in owner's equity ma capital. An increase in expenses represents a decrease in profits and therefore a decrease in owner's equity ma capital. Owner's equity. Kid draws and kid investment also affect the owner's equity ma capital section of the accounting equation. Draws decrease owner's equity ma capital and additional investments increase owner's equity ma capital. Accounting equation. Using the above information we can present this information in the following equation, current owner's equity capital equals beginning owner's equity capital plus owner's investments plus revenues minus expenses minus draws. This new owner's equity equation illustrates the relationships and effects investments, revenue, expense, and draws have on owner's equity capital. Fully expanded accounting equation. Let's take this one final step to arrive at our fully expanded accounting equation which includes all the components that make up and affect owner's equity capital. Our expanded accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity capital expanded or restated now becomes our fully expanded version assets equals liabilities plus beginning owner's equity capital plus additional owner investments plus revenues minus expenses minus draws. Fully expanded accounting equation. In the expanded version of the accounting equation, Ma Capital's kids are hiding behind her skirt. They're there, you just don't see them. The fully expanded version brings them out of hiding and shows you their effects on owner's equity Ma Capital. Accounting equations. While all three of the equations illustrate the relationship of property and property rights, the accounting equation most often used and referred to is the expanded equation or basic equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Observation, in using the expanded accounting equation, if two of the three components are known, the third can easily be calculated by using some simple algebra to rearrange the equation. Don't worry, you're not going to get an algebra lesson. The accounting equation can be expressed in the following different ways, asset emphasis, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Equity emphasis, owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities. Liability emphasis, liabilities equals assets minus owner's equity. So, you can, calculate assets if liabilities and owner's equity are known. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, normal formula. Calculate owner's equity if assets and liabilities are known. Owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities. Calculate liabilities if assets and owner's equity are known. Liabilities equals assets minus owner's equity. Special thanks to Ron Leishman for the cartoons. http colon slash slash www.tunaday.com